Today's topic is going to be SEO in one hour for better marketing and apps development. Let me just bring this right up large on the screen. There we are. Okay. And move, move my control panel over. Okay. All right. So SEO, short for search engine optimization, is techniques that you could do uh, organically, meaning that it's, it's, uh, it's the information that people readily see in your, your content and in, in your um, images that you have on the website. So it's, it's nothing, there's no trickery, there's no magic. It's all uh, right in front of you, right in front of your user. Okay, so let's move on. Some of you have joined us either okay. through Eventbrite or Start Meeting as we have right now or some of the other social medias. And of course, we advertise this on In Business Links Network, Design for Communication, and the Festina Brothers app. So, Welcome everybody that's joining us today. Uh, we put this on. It's a cooperation or collaborative effort between the three brothers. And Russell, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Russ Festino, CEO of Festino Brothers and uh, Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. And looking forward to this session, Gary. All right, and I'm Gary. I, I'm mainly involved with doing the graphics the business of marketing and, and development and, and the kind of look and feel of the apps. And uh, I've also been nominated for a Good Burger Award, which I'm very proud of in the St. Pete uh, area. And Rich, uh, tell us about you. Hey, congratulations on that, brother. Uh, I'm Rich Vestino, uh working on the music and the content. And uh, uh, I work with the Week of Rock every year, which is putting uh, young musicians together and putting on a concert uh, in one week's time in the month of August. And looking forward to this year's Jethro Tull and Led Zeppelin concert. And right. uh, my most famous student is Ani DeFranco, and uh, I don't know if we have a picture of her coming up. I do. We're gonna we're gonna but, uh, jump right to that picture right now. There you go. Well, how about that? Yeah, you're, you you've composed How over seven hundred four hundred and seventy five songs. Worked at Matt's songs, Music. Yep. You've got quite a repertoire there, and then uh, equally as as yeah. well. And there's a picture of you and uh, Anna there. Look at that. And, and Anna, also, you're yeah. you're quite experienced as well. With uh, what's what's the I N E T A stand for? Ross. All that uh, don't know. Don't know. Also. Okay. I N E T A. Oh. No. I N E T A. <laughs> Lifetime. Ineta. That's the International oh. .net Association. Ineta. Lifetime Achievement Award. Yep. Okay. That's Helping educate a million developers. Okay. Uh, almost looks like we had another person join us, but nah. If if somebody does join good. us, we are recording this session. And then of course the, uh, there I am with my good burger award. The business organizations that I belong to are in Business Links Network and the Bluffs Business Association. Uh, and so let's, I like that. let's gotcha. move ahead to our products page. We're getting some new products that we're working on. Of course, coming soon, we've talked about the Jerry Garcia tribute app, the Ana DeFranco tribute app. We're working on some local bands here, the Bearded Brothers and Ooh La La, and latest endeavor that we'd like to get, put forward uh, in, in celebration of George Martin's glorious life he just passed away this week unfortunately is when I'm dubbing the love app for George Martin and uh, he has produced outside of the Beatles he has produced uh, 20 20 songs and uh, we're going to capture those on on the app as what do you think brothers is that going to be a great uh, uh, great app excellent mm -hmm. excellent yeah, I think I think it's a, a well achievable, and uh, I got the list of the 12, 20 songs that he worked on, including uh, uh, one James Bond, also um, Elton John's tribute to uh, Diane, Princess Princess Diane, and uh, with that um, um, Elton John. Yeah, Elton John. I can't think of the name of the song right now, but uh, it, it's uh, fabulous. Yeah. The uh, uh, candles, Billy Jean Martin, or Billy Jean. Yeah, right. song that he did there, and of course all our products are available uh, in every app store. Uh, the Jethro Tall app exclusively is is available on Apple, Google, Amazon, Windows, and so forth. 
and that's including uh, the Windows 10 as well. All right, so we uh, we've dis uh, we've discussed all about you with the people. As as people join this conference, we'll let them introduce themselves and and see how they can contribute. So we'll move right into the presentation here. SEO in one hour for better marketing and apps development. All right. Um, the reality is that uh, businesses that desire better s search traffic results realize that the time allocated is limited. Their, their time and resources are very limited. A lot of times they don't plan to do any any work on, on their website, especially trying to get found. So what we're going to discuss here, here is how often and when you should do that. And then number two, what to do and what to work on. Two very, very simple uh, areas, but some things that usually get overlooked. Um, what is the name of this presentation, uh, brothers? One hour, right? One hour, One hour per day? Per, per day. Per day. So yep. that's, that's what I'm recommending is that you do SEO best practices for one hour a day for your business. Schedule a time when you could do that and you'll be ahead of the game and you'll get your name out there. So it's different schedules depending on, on how, how your business is open. So if your business is open Monday through Thursday, I mean uh, Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, you should do your one hour a day Monday through Thursday and Sunday. If your business is open on the weekends, you should do your one hour a day Tuesday through Saturday. And these are just uh, uh, guidelines. You, you, could, you could manipulate them how, how, you, how you feel, especially, say, for example, if you're closed on a Wednesday, you might have to uh, adjust the schedule. Yeah. But this gives you a schedule. Any questions on that? No. All right, so one hour a day, depending on your schedule, you do it Monday through Thursday and Sunday night. Sunday night is really a good night, good time to do some of your Facebook posts and, and so forth because people are ready to work Monday morning, and that's what, that's what they do. They open their, their mailbox on Monday morning, and if you, if you populated it with some information Sunday night, they'll see it. Of course, you could automate this as well, and we, we've had some webinars on this. Uh, previously, where, where you don't have to physically do it Sunday night, you could actually do it Thursday or Friday and schedule it to be released on Monday morning. All right. What to do and what to work on. We're going to discuss uh, defining your goals, goal achievements, keyword brainstorming, on page review process, dynamic content, and promotional prospecting. All this in one hour. You take one of these and do it one hour a day. So you have six points there. If you take each each one of them for a one hour a day, you got it covered. All right. Defining your goals, uh, we use an acronym uh, <laughs> called SMART. So we had somebody here. Okay. Uh, SMART. S is for SMART. M is for measurable, A is for achievable, R is for results, and T is for time. And what you want to do is set some goals, some short-term goals, some medium goals, and some long-term goals. And then you, you uh, use the six points that we talked about within those goal-setting uh, benchmarks. If um, by doing this you will grow, You'll get some growth in your business, and growth generally means more sales. So that's what's going to help. A tip that I have here is that um, you should claim your business um, on Google Places, Yahoo Local, Bing Local, Yelp, and Foursquare. This helps you get uh, established in the community, especially if you have a brick-and-mortar store, like, for example, Rich, like Matt Studio. He's got a brick-and-mortar store. He should be at all these places, all these um, uh Right. social media platforms so that he gets discovered so he gets new, new people to come in for guitar lessons and so forth. And uh, if, he, he, if he's not in these places, he's, he's kind of missing an opportunity. All right. 
brainstorming the keywords. Uh, throw out everything. Get get people on your staff to just have a little little meeting and discuss what what keywords relate to your business. Uh, if we use get if we use uh, the guitar lessons business again as, a, as an example, you might throw out Gibson, Firebird, Fender, all these these things that are relating Fox amps that relating to your business that people would be looking up uh, 12 string guitar that kind of stuff. So, and nothing is off limits. Let everybody throw out the words that they feel is relating to their business, uh, chords, lessons, this kind of thing. And then you go to uh, right. Google AdWords, and Google AdWords is also going to make some suggestions. And then you look at your your titles and your descriptions, right, right in how your listing is coming up in the Google and Bing search. Finally, your images that are on your website. They need to be geo formatted, meaning that you should locate your image. So if you've got a picture of Matt's studio in in the, in the background, the tags that are relating to that photograph should say Tonawanda, New York. So if it doesn't say Tonawanda, New York, it could be Matt's studio in California. Yeah, there is a Matt's <laughs> out there too. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> okay, so the next is the on-page review. A lot of times, some um, this is a well overlooked thing in and um, in webmaster tools both in both in Google and Bing it tells you if there's any technical is, uh, technical issues uh, for example missing pages and if there's broken links um, it tells you which ones are broken so you need to fix them and it also makes suggestions on how to optimize your keywords another tip here is that um, you should maximize the HTML the, the uh, the language that is being used for your website and add your title tag, your meta descriptions. Use a heading, which is generally called H1, and heading 2, H2, which is more of your, of your subhead. A lot of people don't identify their text as these, and, and the search engines are looking for a heading, and they're looking for a heading, the second heading. So look at that report, and these reports are generally free. All right, dynamic, dynamic content is king. That this is the outside of, of of links and links back to your website. This is how you get traffic to your website is with dynamic content. Dynamic meaning that it's moving. It's a moving target. It keeps changing. So you got to update your homepage. It can't be stagnant. You got uh, introduce um, new stories in your blog and social media, products and services. Um, Announce uh, new staff appointments, any awards that you've gotten, any programs coming up. I know, I know, Rich, you've done this for the week of rock. You, you know, you, you try to get that out there for Matt Studio when that's coming and so forth. And then you got to identify uh, uh, your location and the community that you're working for often, because uh, sometimes they don't know where you're doing it. No, any, 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 any questions so far on, on this uh, content? Okay. Oh, okay, and then we're going to get into BuzzSamo. I'm going to demonstrate this. It's a, it makes content suggestions uh, for your industry. All right, in case you're having trouble coming up with fresh content. Promotional prospecting is really uh, just looking at what your competition is doing and, and, and then learning from that and also following up on your referrals. You run contests and promotions. You survey your existing clients and get their feedback. Uh, and as I mentioned, look at the competition and try. There's two tools that can help you do this. One is Majestic and Sidekick. We're going to look at those in the demo version of this. And the important thing is you just keep doing this. You repeat, you repeat, you repeat. So if you pick one day to do this, say a Wednesday, you, every Wednesday you, you follow through on these, these tools. All right, this is the uh, demo portion of the, of the um, program. Any questions before I go into the demo? No, go okay. right ahead. <clears throat> okay. All right, we first talked about um, keywords from, um, from uh, Google AdWords. Now, Google AdWords is a paid-for service, but you could also use it as a, as a free service. Okay, so uh, what I've done here is I've taken our slogan. I don't know, I don't know if I could 
actually make this bigger. I don't know if you guys could see that. Mm -hmm. uh, zoom big. There. Big. There. Mm. We're taking our slogan Much right there, powerful apps for the stars. Our landing page is the Festino right. Brothers. What we do is mobile apps and add-ons. That's that's from a, a drop-down list from from Google, and then and then you, and then what it's going to do is suggest ideas. Right now, if you click mm. that button, it's going to suggest ideas of what we should build into our organic our text and some of the keywords behind the scenes. So it's, it says we should mention Windows 8 apps, Windows App Store apps. Yeah. Windows Phone Developer should be in there. Uh, Apple Apps, and these these are like phrases. So a keyword is not only just one word, but it's also a phrase. Windows 8.1, depending on what people are looking for. And it looks like it looks like according to this list, a lot of people are looking for Windows apps, which is uh, which is thrilling, which is great. You know, it seems like they're at the they're in the top uh, top 12 here with the word window. Okay, Windows. Uh, Windows App Market and, and so forth. So within the top 30, you got Windows in there about 15 times, which is uh, amazing. Okay, and only Apple's only in there a couple of times. I don't even see Google, huh. Google apps. Wow. I don't see Amazon wow. apps. So even wow. even though Windows is the smallest player in the apps of business right now, people are searching for Windows apps. Uh, maybe uh, maybe because you know that that is the platform of choice on the desktop uh, could be so that's that's a uh, that's how you use uh, Google AdWords right there to your advantage is free and then if of course if you want to take take one of these like Windows Store apps and you want to put some money on it it, it will cost you uh, if you it, it, they're thinking it's going to generate about 1,200 hits for you at, at at 45 cents a hit, so you could you could gamble and, and spend that money, but you don't have to. You could actually take these and put them in your in your copy and and go from there. All right, so that's that that phase. All right, next uh, I'm just going to bring that down. Next, we talked about um, Buzzsamo, and, and again, you you type in a domain or a topic. I'll type in Fustina Brothers again. And this is going to recommend uh, what what agencies uh, I don't want to do any of that. I, Maybe I've done it one no. too many times now. So it's You're not going to show me. limit. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Oops. Let's try that again. Go back. Get rid of this. It could be I've already tried it a couple of times and now they want me to sign in. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that because it's it's, it's an expensive plan. Yeah. It's ninety nine dollars a month. You only yeah, get fifteen why don't you days just free. A different email stuff for a different account. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good idea. It's a great idea. That's uh, a great idea. Let's try. Um, how do I go back, <laughs> yeah. back in my history? Let's write. Right there. Okay, let's try try something something else like uh, about one of my other clients. Or you could do your. Did you use your Hotmail account? Yeah. Or your Golden, Gmail account? Well, I'll try this as you this for Golden Horizons Elder All right. Oh uh, no! It no! It no! It's probably identifying me by my um, my node here, my URL. Uh, so I can't demonstrate that. Sorry about that. Okay. 
Yeah. Here, right at the bottom, it says, don't have an account, trial, Buzzmo for free. Sign yeah, up but the free is only 15 days, and I don't want to sign up for... I don't want to sign up for 15 days. No, I meant to use one of your many email accounts. You, you've got one hooked into the one that's expired. Just no. All right. So you start to start the trial for free right here, and then you've got to uh, establish your your, your name, right. yeah. email account, and agree to the terms. And I I just don't want to get involved with the. You got <laughs> only actually you only got a 15 day trial. Okay. No risk to my Okay. So anyway, but it's by it's by email. So that's you can do yeah. another. Yeah. You have one trial set up for the other one, other email. You can do another trial here for this email, like Chief Estino at Hotmail or something. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, uh, prior to that, it, it allowed me to try it without putting in an email. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Excuse me. Now, now okay. it recognizes my note, right. and it's, it's requiring me to sign right. up. Okay. So anyway, what it does is brings up a okay. list, list. I should have too bad it didn't capture that screen when it worked. It brought up a list of websites that were feeding into the Festino Brothers. For example, um, okay. We we had the uh, it showed the um, Twitter uh, Jethro Tall Twitter account is feeding into into Festino right. Brothers. And so uh, okay, so that's. That's what that did. So let's go. Let's move on to the next demo. Then is 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 the um, called uh, Sidekick. Okay. Sidekick helps you identify what email, what is being done, right, uh, to your email when you send out an email, for example, who who has opened it and who has not opened it and how long they looked at it. So for example, here's my, I sent out an email and, and, and right to the sidekick, it was a test, and the sidekick team opened it and they opened it at 827 and they're from Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. So, and, and they got one view okay. right there. So that's how the, how sidekick works, works, is that it shows you right. who opened it and when and how long they were on it. And it also was not opened if, they, if there was any clicks in in the email, like if you had some links in the email and they clicked on it, it shows that they clicked on a link, and that's a that's a, mm -hmm. a free service. All right, that's site. Yeah, that's good. All right, all right, and so so I'll get rid of that, and then the last is uh, any report? No. Did we do the keyword planner? Yeah, we did that. I think that was a, that was a, oh um, um, we want to go into majestic. We I lost the link to majestic, so let me get that one for you. Okay. <clears throat> right here, here's majestic. So what majestic uh, does is also um, a backlink um, tool that shows who is linking to to your website. Mm. Enter, so here we enter a domain. Here I'm going to do. Mm. <clears throat> and it searches topics. Okay, so here, here are the uh, the results for that topics. Hmm. Historic index. So it gives you stats of whatever domain you put in there. Let's try another one. Do the summary first. So here's unique. It's been crawled. 
what is that, three mil, how many, one, two, three, four, is that billion, three billion times? Wow. Yeah, and then, and, and it's been indexed eight million times, 800 million times, and it gives you the stats, right? Exter here's your external backlinks. So this, it's got 4,130 backlinks. Referring domains, 381. And and, uh, and we didn't get any results for Fustino Brothers. Let's try that again. Hmm. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Oh, there we are. I must have spelled it wrong. Okay, we got... Uh, 258 backlinks from other places coming into our website. All right. Wow. And referring domains 26, IPs 24, and subnets. I don't know what a subnet is. All right. But here's our stuff over the year. And you, you can see where we've had activity uh, right. from last November when we when we did the up, update to the, um, the uh, iPhone. And Android apps, right? We right. started in November. We gained a lot of a lot of stuff over through that session by doing yeah. that. And look at this. We got. We also have three million times it's been crawled. And there's mm. a fresh index. So it's uh, we're getting some some feedback on there. So now if we if we yeah. update that material that's on the website, uh, I think we're golden. It'd be great. Get some new products out there. People are looking at what we have to offer. And do, do the backlinks by itself. And this is a, they do have a, a pricing plans as well, but this is, uh, this on, this searching part is, is free. It's called Majestic SEO. Free. So what you see here is free. So which is a good thing. At least you can get some ideas. So, um, especially for people like me that are, are, um, uh, recruiting new business and trying to see uh, the progress of, of some of the, the work that I do for customers. This shows the kind of a benchmark from month to month what's going on. So there you go. And it's so that's, uh, that's what thirty dollars a month to subscribe. Uh, Twenty nine, ninety nine. Well, they do have uh, their pricing plans are also expensive. Uh, here it is fifty fifty dollars a month, and, and you you get more. Then eighty dollars a month and so forth. So if I was an agency that that uh, could set this up, I would probably do that. Yeah. But I, I think the tools that I've got for free are are valuable enough for what I do. And I'm and I'm locked in. I, yeah. I've already got an award for some reason here. I got an award level. Okay. <laughs> Introduction award, I guess. All right. And they have. They have a blog as well to give you tips and how to improve your performances. So those that's the the, uh, the demos today. So we'll get back to the uh, the slide deck here. Okay. Any questions on those um, those demos? No. All right. So no, the buzz okay. demo you have to do on your own because it looks like it records the URL where you're doing it from. You'll get one yeah. or two chances to do it free. Majestic is uh, is really free sure. uh, up front, and I've tried it several times. And also Sidekick is free. AdWords there is a paid uh, piece of it, but you could also get free keyword uh, uh, discovery and recognition. All right. So so the uh, three out of the four is you can get results for free right, for better marketing and so forth. So in, in summary, uh, if, if there's no, no questions here, we'll just review what we've done. We discussed the defining goals and you should use the, the SMART acronym to help you with that. Um, goal achievements is uh, once you grow, you're going to increase your sales. Keyword brainstorming, uh, everything is, is valid. Throw everything out on the table. And then, then, then fine tune from there of what, how you want your content to be focused or targeted. And then your on-page review, which is the thing that uh, a lot of uh, companies miss, but I try to 
to look at when I take on a new client. How many issues are there? Are there broken links? Are there missing pages? Have they changed from an old website to a new website where, where uh, things are called different? Like, for example, maybe the contact page is called contact, where before it was called contact us. So now it's a missing page, and thus it brings you down in the in the standing because uh, the crawlers or the spiders can't can't find it. All right. Um, then your dynamic content is always important. You got to update, update, update your home page, your your blog, your social media has got to be out there. And if you put it on a regular schedule, it's going to be beneficial for you. And then um, promotional prospecting is really just looking at the competition, looking at what what they're doing and how you could improve your own, because they're looking at you as well. So as you, as, as your company gets higher in the standings, higher uh, uh, on page one of Google or Bing, they're going to look at, see what you're doing successfully and also do the same. So it's a constant process. And one of the words I had in here was repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, it's an ongoing process. You can't just do it once. All right, that's our, um, that's our webinar for today. I do have uh, some sources here, everyone. Really of the uh, pages of content are from these sources here and you can get more elaborate uh, details from them and then our next meeting coming up our next meetup online is april 11th 2016. now depending on uh, you know tax week um we may want to once we get to that area we could take a survey and see if we mm -hmm. want to postpone it a week to after taxes or or skip a month and 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 pick yeah. it up in in May, but we'll uh, I'll send out a s survey early that week to find out who our audience is and right. if we need to skip April 11th or move it. Okay, and uh, and that's right. that's it. And uh, contact us of course through all these uh, avenues here, Festino Brothers, Festino Brothers blog. We've got uh, YouTube, we got Flickr, Pinterest, Twitter information, and so forth. All right. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to okay. end the recording. If there's any, any feedback or, or comments, uh, we, we, I'll keep the recording going. Now we're good. We're good. All right. So we're going to end the we're recording. Good here. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat>